the junior of Miami, Florida, number nine, Hilton Flowers. Attention fans, please direct your attention to the field of the principal play line from the Lee losses in my life, but uh, that only keep me going, you know. At the age of seven, I lost my dad. Uh, was outside watching the Dolphins game. I was sitting in his lap like 10 seconds later, as soon as I get up and I get in the house to use the bathroom, I heard a gunshot. And I looked out the bathroom window my dad was laying there on the floor, and I just noticed that I was just in his lap. Um, going into my senior year, I knew my mom was fighting cancer. I got to school, she was okay, uh, and my sister called me, and she told me to come to the office. She told me to hurry up. I ran down to the office, and we just walked out to school. Once I walked out to school, she told me his mom. And I was like, what you mean his mom? She like, they said she only got a certain amount of time to live. And uh, from there, I just broke down crying. I couldn't stop crying. So I got there. My mom, she barely could see. She didn't know who I was. Um, I told her who I was. Um, I called Coach Dela. She told Coach Dela, you know, do whatever you can to uh, get my son to college, you know, keep him going, keep him motivated, keep him focused, and that old Coach Dela did. And now I'm at the University of South Florida. And there was a time where I wasn't playing, I was frustrated, and I talked to Coach T and I was like, um, what is that I'm doing, what I'm doing wrong to not play? He gave me a shot and I started the SMU game. And I told my brother, I was telling my family member and everybody, that I was gonna start that game. And in my brother's voice, I heard that, like, he was crying, and I asked him what was wrong. And that was another family member I lost. I lost my brother uh, my freshman year going into an SMU game. Hey, man, listen up, man. Hey, don't worry about that right now. Don't worry about that right now. Play for each other. Yeah. Play for each other. Yeah. Yeah. We brought this out here. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only, only thing we got out here. Hell yeah. yeah. Honestly, how I get through it every day, you know, like it's a couple of guys that I'm really close to on the team. Uh, Rodney Adams, one of them, Marlon Mack, another, you know, Deidre Nickel, a lot of the young guys I'm close to too. Them guys just put their arms around me, you know, and keep me focused, you know, keep a smile on my face every day. That's why I'm here. I'm thankful. Thankful for everything that I do right now. Yes, sir. Hang with my boys. These two guys, Man, I got right one. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> no, it gets no better than this. Then when it comes game day, I feel like every day I go out there, I have to feed somebody in my family. And that's why I go out there and play and play my hardest because I know for one, my mom looking down on me. Two, I know she happy that I'm in college and I'm not in the streets. And uh, three, there's no better place to be than him. The bubble screen, Quinton keeps. He's juking around, nobody can find him. And now he finds the open field. Follows a blocker, gets to the 20, down the sideline to the 10. That is one of the great runs in USF football history. Touchdown USF, Quinton Flowers, 54 yards. And even that doesn't tell you the whole story.